I'm sure you've heard about fluoride, but do you know about some of the toxic effects of fluoride exposure and actually ingesting it and your exposure can accumulate over time and have some negative consequences for your health, like your thyroid health, like the health of your bones and even your teeth from too much fluoride. So this video is all about fluoride and how to avoid fluoride. Okay, I've got a list of six different sources of that fluoride and more importantly, a little bit of a tip on how to avoid it. Okay, number one on the list is tea. So unfortunately, tea, yeah, I'm talking about black tea and green tea tends to be high in fluoride because that tea plant actually absorbs that fluoride into its leaves. And of course the leaves are what are used to make our tea. Now a handy little tip is you can look up the tea that you drink because over 300 different teas have been evaluated for their fluoride content. The link is in the description to that website where you can search this up. Now coffee also has a little bit of fluoride, but in comparison to tea, it has much less fluoride. Grapes also tend to accumulate fluoride. Soda, so if you're drinking pop or soda, that tends to be very high in fluoride as well. And even wine. So as much as wine may be healthy in some aspects for our health, if it's not organic and if it was grown in soil that naturally contains fluoride, it can be a source of that fluoride exposure. Okay, number two on the list, another source, of course, is toothpaste. So if you're using fluoridated toothpaste, this can be a big problem because remember that accumulation of fluoride over time is and will have negative effects for your health. Okay, number three on the list is fluoride treatment. So this is something that you definitely have to have a discussion with your dentist about. And of course, most dentists are going to recommend fluoride treatments, especially for children. It's something that, you know, you're going to have to have that discussion. The more research you do about fluoride toxicity, you know what to say. Okay, number four on my list, another source of that fluoride is drinking water. So unfortunately, most of the areas in North America actually adds fluoride into the drinking water for various reasons, which we will not discuss. However, this is another exposure and chronic exposure. This is of concern and some studies have actually shown now the relation of kidney and liver toxicity issues in children and adolescents that are exposed to fluoridated water. Okay, number five on the list is Teflon pans. So if you use those nonstick pans that are coated in Teflon, yeah, great for the nonstick effect, however terrible for the fact that they do contain fluoride and can lead to your overall fluoride toxicity. And number six on the list is medication. So a lot of medications, especially if they have the letters FLU in them, that's a good indication in their generic name. If it says flu, that that's an indication that they do contain fluoride and something that you really have to think about. Okay, so here's a list of common medications, pharmaceuticals that do contain fluoride that you just need to be aware of. Okay, number one, cholesterol pills. So those statins contain fluoride. Number two, antacids. Number three, antibiotics, especially the flu clocks. As you can see here, it does contain that fluoride. And some people react and have terrible reactions because of the fluoride in this type of antibiotic. So it's something that you definitely have to ask your doctor about. Number four is anti-anxiety medication medications, especially fluoxetine is a generic that you may have heard about, very commonly prescribed for that anxiety and depression, but also unfortunately has fluoride. And number five, anti-inflammatories. So conventional anti-inflammatories, a lot of them do contain that fluoride. So my tip here, of course, whenever you can do natural things as anti-inflammatories or maybe as natural anti-anxiety herbal medicines that do not contain fluoride, you're going to go that route and avoid your exposure to fluoride in whatever way that you can where you can make those choices make those choices and make a more educated choice as to how much fluoride you're actually letting into your body and this is important for your children as well now to learn how to make your own fluoride free toothpaste that you will absolutely love please check out my video natural whitening toothpaste recipe it's not only whitening but remineralizing as well and all natural you're gonna love it I'll see you there